What's up everybody? Eduardo Talbert here with Monster Tutorials. Today we're having the second installment of the Atmos FX projection uh, tutorial and setup. Today I'm going to set it up on this window behind me. I had to wait till it was dark and because of the storms we've had around the area uh, it's been raining for like four or five days straight so it's finally calmed down. Today's a good day to do this. So I'm going to be using that projector the Atmos FX projection material that comes with the kit and some of the effects that come in the SD card that comes in the kit. Some of the effects are really child friendly like the dancing skeletons and some of them are a little bit gorier and bloodier like some of the zombie scenes. So what I'm going to do is uh, during Halloween and the days leading up to it as I project it on the window I'll do the kid friendly ones until about 9 o'clock and then go on to the zombie ones uh, later in the evening and also when you're having a Halloween party that is mostly adults you can probably do that or if your kids are used to watching The Walking Dead then hey do whichever one so I'm going to try and put two or three here on this window we'll set it up and we'll see how it looks we'll go outside and check it out all right let's get started First thing I'm going to do is take the projector off this tripod and I'm going to put it on this sturdier tripod. This is one of my photography tripods. It's really sturdy. It's old but it's nice and sturdy and this will allow me to move this back and forth to fit the projection perfectly on the screen. Now if you have a table over here you can just put the projector on the table and move it back and forth. Unfortunately the dining table is over there so let's put it over here. The projector has a tripod mounting on the bottom and on the side depending on whether you want to do a vertical or horizontal projection. That is perfect. That can be moved anywhere that we need. It's nice and sturdy. So now let's use the material on the window. The material that comes with the kit is a 4x6 and it comes with double sided tape. I'm going to use thumbtacks instead. I measure that window and it's 4x4. Four four. This will be the perfect fit. We'll have a little extra here on the bottom. This material is translucent which means it lets the light through but not all the way through so that you can see the image on the reverse side should you choose to project it from the back side. In other words, we're projecting from the kitchen to the window to be seen on the outside of the window. So this is translucent material here. The image will transfer to the other side. Feels like a synthetic material. It's almost like a woven uh, shower curtain. It's very translucent. I'm going to put it on the window now. Make sure the fabric stays nice and tight without any wrinkles. I'm just going to tack the bottom with a little bit of tape. This is the remote. However, you have to aim it at the back of the projector, right here, or it won't work. It doesn't work from the side or from the front, uh, unfortunately. I'm going to turn some of the lights off so we can reach the menu. was wondering why you couldn't see anything. Got to take the cap off. Now we can focus with this wheel. Okay, so here's digital decorations. We're going to select that one. And you go down, go down, go to Halloween. And this is a horizontal scene. I'm going to chop it horizontally. In other words, I'm going to cut the two sides of the horizontal scene. That way it fits all the way in the window. And here are the effects that come with this kit. So you have Beckoning Beauty, Dancing Dead, 
that's the skeletons we're going to do later. Evil Twins, Howl at the Moon, Rise of the Wraith, and the Stalking, and the Stalking Starlers. Starlers. What? Starlers. Okay, let's do, see if there's any more. Ah, there is. That's what I was looking for. There is Vampire Snack and Zombie Swarm. That's the one I want to try. So you select it. And there will be a check mark right here. It will be a red check mark when you select it. All right, let's take all the lights off. Turn all the lights off. All right, so there it is. Now let's press play. All right, so there's the effect. Now we need to just center it on the window. Looks like I'm going to have to pull the projector back. Focus, nice and crisp, perfect. Now let's press play and go look at it from the outside. Let's go outside. Can you see me? Okay, I'm outside right now and there behind me is the window. Check it out. If you notice, the effect will keep looping over and over again so you don't have to do anything. The other thing you can do is do a playlist to switch between scenes. Let's go try another one. That was the zombies. Now let's try the Dracula one. Here's the next one. Those are the skeletons. I absolutely love those. Those are my favorite. And as you can hear, as you can hear, they have now the dogs are barking. You can hear some music, right? That every effect has music and sound to go with it. Like the zombie has like the squeaking sound of the hands going down the pane of glass. The werewolf howls. Uh, the Dracula one. They all have sound. But if you have the projector inside which the projector has a speaker, as you can hear. Uh, if you leave it inside, you won't be able to hear the stuff outside. So my suggestion is you can run some speakers out or you can take the soundtrack and then play it outside. That's what I would do perhaps. Ideally, you, you have like a Bluetooth uh, connection, but I think at this price point, you're not gonna get that on the, on the projector. The other thing I noticed about the projector is an observation is uh, as you turn the projector on, the fan comes on to cool down the light bulb. That rotation makes the projector vibrate a little and makes it sometimes go out of focus. So the solution for that, since it's almost getting out of focus almost every time, is probably put a piece of tape on top, some kind of like a medical tape just to hold that focus ring in place because it seems to shift just a little. Let's see it again. I absolutely love this stuff. A lot of people commented uh, where to get the stuff and there's links below in the description of this uh, video. You can also go to a dedicated web page that I did for the Atmos FX stuff and it's just monstertutorials.com slash Atmos FX and you go there and there'll be like the places where to get the digital decoration kit plus all the different effects that they have, the singing pumpkins, the skeletons and everything. The skeletons comes with this kit. Just in case you didn't watch the previous video that I shot in which I unboxed the kit, what I did here is the, the 
the Atmos FX digital decorating kit. And that comes with the projector I showed you guys, the material, a remote, a tripod, and it comes with the SD card with uh, 14 digital decorations. And that includes the Halloween ones that we looked at here, plus some uh, holiday ones, which is on the other side of the box. So there's a Santa, and there's some elves, and yeah, they're pretty cool, and I'll probably try those during the uh, Christmas season. There's also, it appears to be, Easter Bunny, and some uh, stuff for Valentine's Day. That's pretty cool. So that is the Atmos FX uh, Jill Decorating Kit. This has everything you need to do all those effects and, uh, and at a pretty good price point because you get the whole, the whole combo. You can also buy the stuff separately. Uh, if you need bigger fabric, I suggest going to a fabric store and getting some sort of like sheer stuff. Whether you get like a, like a shower or tub liner or uh, curtains for a house, make sure they're sheer and they're translucent. Right, they need to catch the light, but then they need to transmit it to the other side if you're aiming at the outside. If you're doing a, a ghost in the middle of a hallway, you want the, the fabric to be see-through, and that's probably one of the ones we're going to try next, uh, probably in an upcoming video. And also I'm going to try the other stuff that, uh, that these guys sent me, which is the inflatable form, that is like a standalone form that you project onto. That should be an exciting video. So this is the digital decorating kit with the dancing skeletons, my favorite, plus the zombies, which I absolutely love. All the other effects I like, but those two in particular, uh, they capture my imagination. And uh, if I remember when I was a kid, the skeletons would have been my favorite and they still are. So that's cool. Make sure to write any questions you have below because I've been answering everybody and some of the questions have prompted me to do research, which is a good thing because uh, I'm like really well versed on how this works. I read the manuals back and forth and everything. So that's all I got. Until next time, I'm Eduardo Talbert with Monster Tutorials. Make sure to give it a like if you think it was cool and share it with your best buddies and all your Halloweenies. I will see you next time.